welcome back guys video number two of march 23rd 2020 um so this is about the army deployed in new york as the city reports one coronavirus death each hour um sounds like a lot um it is a lot then again there are a lot of people there in that city um now for about a week um, the new york governor andrew cuomo has been asking for the army corps engineers to come and transform um, businesses in new york city into coronavirus hospitals that will be run by the army or the national guard um haven't seen if this was with the owner's permission or not i assume so um, but they may not have a choice but that that's unclear for now hopefully so without the owner's permission it would be very against the constitution well against, well against the uh third amendment um but very similar to like during the revolutionary war uh, when they written the Constitution that you do not have to lodge or let soldiers stay at your house. So it would be very similar to this. He goes on to say that if twin beds are not made up and, and other things, that it could lead to thousands of preventable deaths, if you want, because they are running out of space in those hospitals. So they need to take over other buildings. Um, let's see if Donald Trump's building is one of them. <laughs> I'd actually be very curious to see if that happens. Um, speaking of Trump, this is a few days after Trump dispatched a Navy hospital ship to help in New York um, to board people on and um, they just dock it and allow for the help on there. A whole entire hospital ship. Now, this is this is crazy because I, I've been keeping up with ABC, CNN, all left wing, left wing, chi uh, run media outlets, and they never mention the good things Trump does just like this. Um, it's all about... Uh, getting out of office and blaming him for as much as they can. So I haven't seen this, uh, haven't heard them talk about Trump bringing in this hospital Navy ship. Um, yeah, if he does something that helps the outbreak, it's never mentioned. Only the, only the, the things he's not doing right. Remember, like I said, this is to get Trump out and bring in Hillary Clinton. At least someone not Trump. Uh, somebody other than Trump who... Um, who's a sellout and they can get to do what they want because they're trying to pay Trump and ever since the beginning to uh, get Trump to do what they want and pay him off but he doesn't listen just because he's a real he's the real deal and he's out for humanity and to do the right thing other than everybody else now FEMA has also mentioned that billions of dollars are now available to help fight the virus um, funding is available in state tribal and local locations that's one thing a lot of people don't think about is the tribal grounds who have to deal with this who may not have funding other than the casinos. <laughs> um, Trump recently made an emergency declaration, again, not covered in the media, um, but brought in $42 billion in disaster relief funds. Not mentioned at all. So that's all I have for this one. I'm going to send to New York. New York. And some businesses are going to transfer in, into hospitals. They're shut down anyway. It's not like they're making any money. So might as well do this. Um, so we'll see what happens next. See you guys tomorrow.